Who didn't love going door to door on Halloween night as a kid? Downtown Sioux Falls is getting into the Halloween spirit with a fun event this weekend that gives your entire family the opportunity to trick or treat downtown businesses. Thanks for joining us. Today we've got uh, a couple of guests here to tell us about a free uh, family friendly event. We have Stephen Dahlmeyer and Sadie Swear with Downtown Sioux Falls. How are you guys today? Good. Good. Yeah. Fantastic. So you guys were telling me a little bit about our event here and I'm, I'm super excited. We got a ton of stuff to cover. So Sadie, first if you can just tell me how many businesses are involved here? What are we talking about? Yeah, there's 26 different locations that people can go trick or treat at. That's awesome. Yeah. And so are they uh, available online? You can get a map and figure out which businesses to go to then? Yes, there's a downloadable map right on our website at downtownsufalls.com. Perfect. And so this is a great idea because rather than walk around a bunch of uh, homes and you're not sure if somebody's home or not, you know that you got the right businesses, you're, you're there, you can get uh, pretty good, pretty good haul with 26 homes. Yes. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> is this the first year, Stephen, that, that you've done this, or has this, this ha happened in the past? Yep, this is the first time we've done this. Uh, we've talked about it in the past, and uh, stuff kind of lined up that we were able to, uh, to pull the trigger and get this thing going. So. Yeah, and what, what brought, brought it about this year? Um, just, you know, we're looking at new ways to program and get people downtown and uh, hosting it on a Sunday is a good time to highlight businesses that are open on Sundays and there's free parking so that's also a plus too. So it's a good way to get people down. Usually there's not a lot of stuff going on on Sundays too. So Yeah, and I know people think generally, well, there's nowhere to park downtown, but that's that's not even really the case, is mm -hmm. it? There's, there's plenty of parking ramps that are available and I, I believe you told me about one that had uh, over 600 spots. Where can, where can people find that? Yeah, it's, well, it's a big lot. Yeah, the one behind Shriver Square, just off of uh, 11th and Phillips there, uh, First Avenue parking ramp is what it's called, and it's uh, free on weekends. So plenty of spots in there to pull in and park. Perfect. And now we're doing this on Sunday, uh, correct? Sunday afternoon. Yep. And so I, I noticed kind of a trend here in some of those businesses downtown that used to always be closed on Sunday, but that's really not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. And so the event is from when, Sadie? When is the event going on? It's from 1 to 4 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of go around downtown, and there's also uh, going to be something extra fun mm -hmm. uh, for the parents and the kids. Uh, we've got some movies going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where can they go for that? Yeah, it's at the Sioux Falls State Theater. There's going to be showings for It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Awesome. So classic fall, yes. autumn, Halloween movie. And it'll be showing on the hour at 1 o'clock two and three. And there's no cost for that, correct? Mm -hmm, it's free. So as you're going around and, uh, and getting your haul of, of good treats and, <laughs> and tricks, you can catch a, catch a good movie too. Stephen, tell us there's also a, a couple extra things going on there that evening, right? Yep, the evening at the State Theater, uh, we've got two showings. Uh, Hocus Pocus is at five o'clock and then uh, Ghostbusters is at 7.30 and that's thanks to uh, AARP South Dakota that's help sponsor and bring those films in. And this is great. Uh, tell us a little bit about the State Theater. Uh, they're kind of coming a long way here on their renovation process. And yeah, the State Theater, they recently unveiled their new, um, uh, new painting in the organ chamber area. They revealed that last month, and so they're slowly progressing, but uh, working on gaining some momentum, and yep. hopefully by bringing people in and activating the space, people can come in and see for themselves what the State Theater can and will look like once it's completed. Yeah, I was in there not too long ago and there was there was no seating. Mm -hmm. So I understand that that's changed as well. Yeah, there's some temporary seating that's brought in thanks to a donation from a church. And so uh, it's comfortable padded uh, seating, <laughs> which will be a little good to, to sit and enjoy and watch a movie. Yeah, so you're not sitting in the normal, uh, the, the plastic, uh, Yard chairs. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Yeah, they're it's nice and comfortable. They're comfortable for And so week. again, uh, the movies uh, in the evening: uh, Hocus Pocus at five, correct, and then Ghostbusters at seven thirty, correct. And those tickets are five dollars a piece, correct. Five dollars each. Uh, Hocus Pocus. There's a very limited amount left, and we'll sell those at the box office at the State Theater starting at twelve thirty on Sunday. Okay. Ghostbusters. There's some uh, tickets still available if you go to DTSF.com. 
uh, just click on the link there and, and you'll see the link to purchase tickets. Perfect. So uh, can you tell me some of the businesses that are involved? Is it all in one specific area or are there other, other buildings that we should keep an eye out for? Yeah. Well, of course, there's Phillips Avenue. There's many businesses there, but it's from 4th Street to 12th Street. So that means Jones Building. There'll be at least four businesses there and also, tea, also specialty balloons for the Halloween season. Awesome. Which will be fun. That sounds great. So again, uh, they can go. Uh, they can go online and and download a, a map there. DTSF.com mm -hmm. uh, will give you the map of which businesses mm -hmm. uh, you can bring bring the families to. Again, 26 participating locations. And Sunday, uh, October 28th. Is there anything else that we have we can expect down there? Are you guys going to be there with uh, with some? Some scary masks on. Or uh, <laughs> nothing Not scary. Family, yeah, friendly. scary. Yeah. So, family yeah. friendly. So <laughs> there'll also be a, a photo booth at Nyberg's Ace, uh, where you can come and take a family photo with that. And we'll also have one set up at the State Theater. Cookie Jar is doing some cookie decorating, uh, so swing by there. And then, like Sadie mentioned, the balloon animals at uh, up at Sharing the Dream in the Jones Building. Excellent. Um, so, and then the films at the State Theater. So there's a lot of stuff to come down. Let your kids. Uh, Get another use out of their costumes. <laughs> That's and, awesome. Uh, put some uh, put some more time. On. Yeah, when we buy costumes and we think, oh, they're only going to use it once. Well, this is a chance to get in <laughs> on another yeah. use yeah. for that. Perfect. So again, Sunday one to four, fantastic. Yeah. Stephen, Sadie, thank you so much thank for joining you. me thank today. You. We appreciate it. Thanks. We look forward to this weekend. Yeah. yeah.